Shaitan is the one whom is called God. Isaiah chapter 14 11, O Shaitan how come your pride and your pomp is brought down to the ground? Like the funeral for those whom have died, and like when there is an interlude of sad music playing with violas at the grave side of someone whom have died, and which shall be for you Satan. But when they shall look upon you Shaitan, and they shall see the worms them that are upon you, and that they have spread all over you, Satan, and that they have completely covered over you, O Shaitan. And that was when they shall have a change of mind, and they shall not bury you. And also when they shall see the worms them that are under you, O God God real, whose name is also known as Shaitan. Then they shall leave off from burying you O Shaitan, whose name is also known as Father God, and also God the Father. Job chapter 2 4, and Satan answered E. The odd. And Shaitan said, To E Elohim, I'll bet my skin for his life or my skin for his skin, even my skin for Job, whose name is better known as E Eob, said Satan to E Elohim. Because all the wealth that a man have it can't save him, even when he gets sick, E Elu. Because he would either give up entirely, or they would die trying, and they would even spend up their wealth and also they give up their integrity, and also they would even give up everything so that E Elohim so that E may heal them and also so that E can restore their lives. The Acts of God or the Lord. 2 Samuel chapter 24 verse 15, So, the Lord God sent a pestilence upon Israel from the morning and even to the time appointed, and then there died many of the people from Dan even to Beersheba, and seventy thousand men died. First Chronicles chapter 21 verse 14, So, the Lord God sent a pestilence upon Israel, and then there died in Israel seventy thousand men. Luke chapter 19 verse 27, Here are the commands from the Lord Jesus, But those who are mine enemies, and who would not accept that I should reign over them, bring them hither, and slay them before me. Friends, the name of the Holy One in the Bible is omitted for the name God. And also for the name Lord, and also for the name Lord God. But it is only E, or the Holy One whom is the E Elohim. And whose name is called the Holy One. And also by the name E. Which means E Elu. Because E. Is the Sovereign Odd. And also the Sovereign One. And whose name is called E. Or One and whom is also called by the sacred holy name, E Eluya, and also Eluya, and also the Almighty, and also the Almighty One, and also by the name the Holy One, and also by the name Holy, in the Bible. And the name Elohim is oftentimes translated into God, and also for the name Lord God, or by the name Lord. And God is oftentimes erroneously mistranslated as Elu. And also for the name Lord, which is also translated to God. And also to Elohim. And which is translated to God. But whereas Elohim is the Hebrew, Sovereign King, and also the Holy One. Elohim is said to be the creator of all mankind. And not God. And God is also translated to be Elu. And Elu. Is whom is the sovereign king of all the heavens, and the earth. Friends, in Christendom God is not taught to be the serpent or the evil one, or the evil angel, and also as the destroyer or the evil angel whom is actually called God real and also God for short. But instead God is misrepresented. And is called God the Father, and also the Almighty God. But God is the unawed one whom is called Shaitan and whom is the wicked unawed one whom is called the serpent of old. And whom is a murderer, and who would like to kill every one of us if we don't obey him. But on the other hand the world doesn't know whom is he. And also that he is the sovereign one. And because of this they do not readily accept he. Nor are they acknowledging he. And as the holy one. Nor neither are they acknowledging he as the E Elohim. Nor neither are they worshipping Elohim E as their odd. And also as the Holy One of Heaven. Nor as the E Elohim. Whom is E Elu. And also whom is the sacred holy name of the Sovereign King of E Abraham. 
because they haven't being taught to respect E. But they have being instead indoctrinated by the Jesuits to accept God and to reject E. Elu. And also Elohim as the Sovereign One. And also they have being taught to reject E. Elu Ya. As the Holy Prophet. And also E. Whom is called Elu Ya. Whom is also called E. And E. Elu. And also Elu Ya. Whom is also called the Christ and also E. Christ. And E. And E. Yes. And whom is also called the Elohim. And also whom is called the Almighty E. Because E. Is the odd. And whose name means one. And also when E. Is E. Elohim and whom is called E. And the Holy One. And also the Sovereign King of E. Abraham and E. Eluyada and also E. Israel. And the scribes in the Bible, is promoting God and not E. And also the word elders they have mistranslated the name of the Sovereign One of E. Abraham whose name is E. Elohim. And they have mistranslated the holy name E. Elu, into God. And they have also rejected E, as the odd. But E. Is whom is the E. Hebrew Holy One, and it isn't God or someone by the name of God. Because E. Is E. Elu. And E. Elu is E. And also E. Is the Sovereign One whom is called E. Elohim, and Elohim. And because E. Means One. And also because E. Is the Sovereign One of E. Abraham in the Scriptures. And it is not God. Because only E. Is whom is the odd, and also E. The Holy One is whom is called E. Elu. And also because E. Is, the Sovereign One, and also the Holy One, of E. Abraham. And E. Is whom is the odd. And also whom is called the Creator of all the heavens and the earth. And it is not God who is the Creator of the world, but it is E. Whom is the Holy One. And whom is both called E. And E. Eluya. And also whom is called the Odd, and also whom is the Holy Prophet. And also whom is the Sovereign King of E. Abraham and E. Eluyada and E. Israel. And also whom is the Sovereign King of all the heavens and the earth. And friends, God is short for Godreel who was the serpent in the beginning and whom was the one who deceived Eve. And also who corrupted E's world and also E's creation. And God is Godreel whom is also known as Shaitan and Satan and Ibli and Shaitan, and also the Destroyer. And also the Serpent of old whom is also known as the Devil and also the Deceiver. And also the God of this world. And also as God the Father and also Father God. And also it is because God was the Serpent, and God is still that evil one whom is still alive. And also whom is the impatient one, and also the active one from our past whom is still in E's world. And who is also the head of all the United States and also whom is the head of the unions in the Americas and also in Europe. And God is Shaitan whom is also the evil one whom is the head of all the nations, and also the United States, and also all the unions that are in both the UN, and also the EU, headquarters, that is in New York, and also in the European Parliament that is in Brussels. Friends, and this is how we know who is God. Because God, is the one whom is the evil one whom is in the seat of Satan. And whose seat number is the one with the number that is the number 666. Because God's seat is the seat with that number. And also 666 is the seat number which has being reserved for Father God, and also God the Father and also Father God, and God the Father whom is also known as the Unod God, and also Shaitan, and whom is one of the major gods of this world. Friends here are some of the definitions for God. Please see the link below at the Wikipedia, please search for God. Friends, from the earliest written form of the Germanic word for God. It state that God comes from the 6th century Christian Codex Argentus. And also from the English word itself that derived from the Proto-Germanic word, for gooden. And also which was the reconstructed word which formed the Proto-Indo-European form of the word for God, Hutuem. And which was likely based on the root word. How, which meant either to call or to invoke. And also which was the Germanic word for God. 
and which was originally the neuter form for applying for both genders, but over the process of time, and during the time when the name of God was Christianized by the Jesuits. It was when the Germanic peoples were converted from their indigenous Germanic paganism, and to Christianity, and also to the word God, the Bible, that it was when the name of God began to appear in the masculine and also in the syntactic form, and also in the English language. And after that the name of God became capitalized. And this was when the capitalization of the letters for God was used. And it was when the word of God, the Bible was being used, and also the name of God was used as a proper noun, as well as the other names by which God was known as. And consequently, the non-capitalized version wasn't being used. And the other form of God was then being used for multiple gods, or when the name of God was used to refer to the generic idea of a deity. And also in the English language as the word of God, was published, and its counterparts Bibles was used in other languages where it was normally being used for the recognition of the Creator, and also for many religions, and also in all new conceptions, and in spite of the significant differences between the religions. The term God remains an English translation which is common to all people, and which is now being accepted by all religions in his world. And also the name of the Lord became well known as God. Friends, below are some definitions for the name God. And also for the names of the Lord, and the word of God, and also for the names of God or Gad, and here are the definitions that are in many religion, and also which are also in all theaters. And God is the one whom has an informal number of names. And the Lord God is one of them, and also the name Lord or Baal is one of them. And in Christianity and also in other monotheistic religions, God is the creator and also the ruler of the universe and God is also the source of all moral authority, and also God is one whom is the supreme being. And in certain other religions, God is a superhuman being or a spirit that is being worshipped as having power over nature, and also over human beings, and also over their fortunes. Or as a deity, such as a moon god. And other gods. And also similarly, like a deity, or like a goddess. Or a like a divine being, and also like a celestial being, and also like a supreme being who divines and whom is immortal, and also as a creator. And also as a demiurge, and also which is said to have a godhead. And also whom can be a daemon or numen or an avatar. And also which can also be an exclamation or an expression, and which can be used for a word which gives emphasis to an exclamation to express some emotions such as surprise, anger, or distress. Like God, what did I do to deserve this? And also the name Lord is compared to the name God which is the same, and there isn't no difference between God and the Lord, friends, here is the etymology, and also the origin for God, and also the meaning of God by the etymologist, and there is no etymological differences between God and Lord. And also the differences that is in the monotheistic thoughts and the views that are in the secular religions. And it is that God is also usually viewed as the supreme being, and as a creator, and also as the principal object of faith. But in polytheistic thoughts, a god is in short a spirit or being believed to have control over certain part of the universe, or over certain parts of our lives, and who is often worshipped by us for doing so, or by us for doing something that represents worship to this spirit, or this being. And the Lord means Baal in Hebrew. Meaning the Canaanites god. Whom is called Baal, or the deity Baal, whom is better known as the Lord, and which means the deity Baal. And also who is also known as Gadriel, because God or Gadriel or Gadriel is known as one of the fallen angels that is mentioned in the book of Enoch, and whom was the one that showed all the deadly blows of death to the sons of men. And it was God, whom was better known as the old serpent who was Gadriel. And who led Eve astray when they were cohabiting in Eve's garden. And God was the evil one whom showed the weapons of death to the children of men, and also God showed them the shield, and also the breastplate, and the sword for slaughtering, and also all the weapons of death to the sons of men. And it was at the command of God that they have gone to war. And also against those who dwell on the surface of the earth from that time and until now. Friends, 
Gadriel is believed to be one of the fallen angels that was mentioned in the Book of Enoch, and who was the evil one that showed all the deadly blows of death to the sons of men. And also God was the serpent that led astray Eve. And he showed men all the weapons of death to the children of men, and the shield and the breastplate, and the sword for slaughtering, and all the other weapons of death to the sons of men. And from his command they have gone to war. And they all have gone to war against those who dwell on the surface of the earth, and to war against all those who live on the dry ground from that time, and even forever and ever. Friends, God is the short name for Gadriel. And Gadriel is Shaitan who is believed to be one of the fallen angels mentioned in the book of Enoch, and who was the one that showed all the deadly blows to the sons of men. And who was the one who led Eve astray. And who was the one who showed the weapons of death to the children of men, and also the shield and also the breastplate, and the sword for slaughtering, and also all the weapons of death for fighting wars, against the sons of men. And it was from his hand they have received these weapons, and which they have used to fight war, and at whose commands that they have gone out to war against all those who dwell on the dry ground from that time, and for fighting wars over and over again. Merriam-Webster Dictionary Here are all the definitions for God. The number one, and also the supreme or almighty reality. As a being believed to have more than human powers. Which could be a physical object as an image or idol, that is being worshipped for being divine or sacred. Synonyms for God, God awful, Son God, from the Cambridge Dictionary, and the English meaning for God, someone who is very important to you, and who you admire very much, and who is the one who strongly influences you, like most of his devoted fans think of him as a sort of God. Wikipedia meaning for God, and in a polytheistic thought, a God is a spirit or a being that is believed to have control over some parts of the universe, or whom has some power over someone's life, and who is often being worshipped for doing so, or for something else that God has done for them. The words of God in Judaism, and also in Christianity, the Lord has become the God of Christendom, and the words from God the Bible. Meaning all the holy books. And the sacred writings and sacred text. And also God has become the father of the universe. And also God has become the father in Western arts. The Cambridge Dictionary and the definitions for the word God that is in the Cambridge English Dictionary, God meaning one whom is also a spirit or being whom is believed to have control over some part of the universe or our lives and whom is often worshipped for being that. Dictionary. Com, the definitions for God. 1. And whom is of several deities, especially a male deity, whom is presiding over some portion of worldly affairs. And also which can be comparable to a goddess. And also to an image of a deity or an idol. The unknown and well-known facts. The definition and also the meaning for the word Elohim, which means the one. And the holy one. Meaning the Elohimi. And also the sovereign one of Ebrahim. Meaning, Elu. Whom is, the Elohim. And whom is he? The Holy One. And also whom is the Odd and also the Almighty One. And also the Almighty. Whom is the All Perfect Sovereign Creator of all the heavens and the earth. And also whom is the All Powerful One, whom is the Holy Spirit or the Being whom is Supreme One. And also whom is the Sovereign One that is worshipped especially by East Chosen People, the Hebrews people whereas God is the deity that the Christians them and also the Jews, and Muslims worship as the one whom have created us, and also the world and also the heavens and the earth. The Oxford Learner's Dictionary The noun for God and also the definition for God. As an image or as a picture, and also as in speech. A God is a countable person who is loved or admired very much by other people. To her fans she's a God. A god is something to which too much importance is countable to. The Collins Dictionary, the definition or the meaning for the word god. 1. And also any of various beings conceived of as supernatural, and being immortal, and also for having special powers over the lives and affairs of people, and also over the course of nature. And also whom is a deity. The Oxford Reference Dictionary for God, 
a god is a deity, and in Christianity, and in other monotheistic religions. And also a god is the deity who is believed to be the creator, and also the ruler of the universe, and also whom it is that is the source of all moral authority, and who is also the supreme being. And also the holy one in certain other religion. Your dictionary, the definition for god. And also the meaning for the word god, god is a being with supernatural powers or attributes, and god is, believed on and god is being worshipped by many people, and God is whom is especially believed to be a male deity who is thought to control some part of our lives. Matthew chapter 22 verse 8 to 14, then says he. To ease servants, them, where are all the people them who were being bidden to ease celebratory dinner? Why aren't they not here? Am I not worthy for them to come and to celebrate with? And to be here? Therefore you go now into the highways, and also into the fields, and you go and invite as many people as possible, even from all those that you can find, and you ask them to come to ease celebratory dinner. So E's servants went out into the highways, and they gathered as many people together as possible. And also as many people as they could find, and of both bad and good, and E's wedding was furnished with guests. And when he, the king came into E's wedding to see the guests, it was when he, saw their nomen Chaitan whom is better known as God, and who did not have any right to come to ease celebratory dinner. And also who wasn't given any invitation, and whom did not have on any garment, and then he said to him, Fiend, how come did you come in here without being invited by me, he whom is the odd? And without you having on any clothes, and also without you not having on clothing. And how come you have no shame, but the rancor, and the tenacity to come in here without your clothes on. And where are your clothing? Don't you have any garment? And no Chaitan was speechless. Then he. The king said to his servants, Them you bind him up even though he don't have any hand nor feet, and you take him away from here, and you all cast him out into outer darkness. Where there is weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Because even though many people are invited, and also even though many are being called and also even though many have been given an invitation by e. into E's holy kingdom, and also an invitation to enter into E's holy Jerusalem and to partake of E's celebratory dinner. They would not come. And also even though many people are invited they won't come out from the many latries and from their false religions and, to come to accept the sacred holy one. Whose name alone is called E Eluya and also holy e and also because they have been indoctrinated by the Jesuits and also the Jesuits, them they won't forsake their irreligious sects, and also their religious beliefs, and to come e. and to accept E's invitation into E's wedding. And because of Satan's influence on their lives they aren't able to abandon the idolatry and also all the false latries, and to leave their gods and their goddesses and also their idol worship and also their idolatry, and also their idolomancy and also their aborlatry. And also their lordolatry of Jesus, and their Christolatry of Jesus. And neither did they walk away from their many religious names and their titles, nor from their false gospel of God and Jesus, so that they can enter into his holy kingdom. And this is why they aren't able to walk away from the error that is within the many religions, and also from the many latries, and also from their religious cults, like that of Christendom and Judaism. And also from Jesuitism, and also from the many other religious sects and rituals, and also from their erroneous beliefs. And because of this they won't be able to come. And it's because they are being deceived by Shaitan. And that's why it is going to be only all the people that are embracing the holy sacred name of E. That only those shall be E's. And that only those shall be saved and they shall be in E's holy kingdom. So only those that are E's would enter into E's holy new Jerusalem, and would be E's chosen people. And only those would be saved. Friends, many would be lost, and like Shaitan whose name is also called God, they too would all missed out of E's holy kingdom. And also they too would miss the celebratory dinner in E's holy new Jerusalem. And they too would not be able to live forever and also in abundance with thee. Whom is the odd? 
and whom is also the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Friends, if you would like to learn more information about E. whom is the Holy One, and also whom is the Holy Prophet, and whom is called E. Eluya, and Eluya, and whom is E. Yes Salvation and also whom is the Christ and also E. Christ. Then would you please check out my other messages on my Facebook page and also on my Rumble channel. Thank you. And also would you take some time out to search out what is the sacred holy name. And also whom is called E. And whose name means one. And also whom is the sovereign one. And also whom is the holy one whom is called holy E. And whose name is known as holy E. And also the almighty E. Friends, there are about 30,000 gods, and how can anyone find out which one is the holy one? Friends, to learn more about who is God, would you please see my message which is called 30,000 Gods. And also my other message which is called Shaitan is called God. Thank you. Be continued, Hallelujah. Praise ye the odd. So let it be ye Amen. Whom is the Holy Sovereign One whom is called ye? And also by the name ye And whose name and number is the number one. And also also whose name is called Holy E. And whose name means E. And also whose name means One. The links would be at the end of this message. Thank you the end.